Router. What am I doing? I got excited. You guys know that I really like doing the interior. That's my favorite part of the camper. But hey, like, subscribe, ring the bell, leave me a comment. You know, I like the comments. So I get excited and uh, I just get building. And then I stop get out of the zone, and I build a kitchen cabinet. And where were you guys? Yes, I apologize. I did not think of you. So, I got my router out. I wanted to show you where I was. Maybe take you through a little bit of this. So these uh, are the doors. This is the front of the cabinet. These are gonna be the doors, big doors, because this is a 15 foot. So the AC does not go in the kitchen cabinet because it's on the door side. We always put the AC on the not the door side because we don't want it blowing out while we're trying to enjoy our time. We don't want the noise. We don't want the heat. We put it on the not the door side. And in these 15 footers, it works way better anyway. Way better. And we'll get to that if I don't get too excited and work ahead. So, um... We're gonna just have a couple of really big doors. Uh, they, one, not a, not a problem. The thing we work around is the wheel hub. The wheel well's right here. So, like we did in the King, we'll just build around that and then make that kind of like a stair-step shelf so that you'll have uh, some storage space down there and uh, kind of cover up most of the wheel well, probably. Um, so I got these cut out, we'll make some Big doors. I like big doors. I cannot lie. And here, why doesn't that go all the way to the ground? Well, right here is where that wheel well comes down. And the bed is going to be about right here. The bed's going to come out. It's going to be a 48 inch standard bed, 48 by 75. And this so you'll never see this we leave this open so we can gather some air if we needed some air we don't but no sense wasting material so anyway anyway that's why that's missing so we're just making room for the hub so to make it more stout on the back we have this going down and going across and this is where we will uh, attach it to the side of the trailer because it's plywood. So we'll come in from the outside of the trailer in through here and here and here, over here, and it'll be really stable like that. And then, now, if you remember that drop down, the drop down comes out to here. So normally we would just use a one, one and a quarter inch to uh, cover this up, but then this much would be open to underneath. And so it takes away the whole idea of having a shelf down there because this would be open and things would be falling into your drop down. We don't want that. So we use this uh, one by four and that's going to take it all the way across and it makes it a lot more, uh, a lot more secure. We can really screw into this as well into the floor. And we did the same thing over here. Great camera work. Aren't you glad you stopped by? Where's Russ? That's the real question. Dog gone. Anyway, so we, we screw these in and uh, it, not only is it uh, more secure, it is also a shelf. A shelf. So that's kind of, there's the front, that's what that's 
gonna look like. And here's the other side. This is the right next to the door. So we went all the way, top to bottom. We're gonna put some uh, trim around here. Uh, probably a little of that welting, that white welting that we used on the on the ceiling. We may put that right in there. See how that looks. But that's gonna be right next to the door, so we may not. We may not. We may. We'll see when we get there. Okay, and the top. This is about 37. About 37. From here to here, and it's 20 across the top. 20 across the top, about 37. So there's a lot of space. A lot of space right here. So let me put this down. We've got a piece of three quarter. Man, look at that mess. That router really leaves the really leaves this sawdust. But anyway, we got a piece of three quarter. Three quarter. And it is just a half inch on either side because we don't we don't need any real overhang other than it looks better that way. So there's about a half inch on each side of overhang. And then there's a full inch on the front. Full inch on the front. And so we've got a couple of things that we need to put in here. Let me go get those real quick. We've got a stove and we've got a sink that we've got to get in here. Now, as you guys know, I'm not a big stove guy. Maybe you are up north. Now listen, I grew up up north. I know you need a heater and it's okay because it's really not sometimes that hot in the summer. But doggone, if you're living in Oklahoma, there's not a summer day that's not that's under 90. And you and it's usually pretty close to 100. But everybody loves a stove. Everybody wants a stove. I don't want a stove. I don't want a stove in mine because you're not going to cook inside. These campers are like 70 square feet or something. You know? It, it, this flame is a fireplace. Take it away. Customer gets what the customer wants. That's just how it's going to be. So we got this brand new stainless steel stove is what the customer wants. And we're going to put it in. We're going to run the lines and it's going to be spectacular because it's going to match our stainless sink along with our chrome faucet. It's going to look nice and look real nice. No counter space. No counter space. I like counter space. Give me your opinion, would you please? Am I just being a negative Nancy here? Or do you prefer a stove? Stove or no stove? Counter space, no counter space. I would like to hear your opinion. Just drop it in the comments. So I feel like I'm being a little negative, but I did. that's my opinion. But I'm not building this for myself. I'm building it for a customer that wants a stove and she shall get her stove. But, okay, so now the stove company right here, they're nice enough to send a whole board, whole board. So I know exactly where to Place this, I'll tape it out, I'll cut it out, by golly, and then theoretically, this will then drop directly in and no problems. No problems. Now, I have not seen if there is one for here yet. But it has to, this has to go in right here. This is how this connects right here. There's these little things that hang in there and then come out and hit the lip. And then it, you screw that in and that presses it against this. So hopefully they sent me a whole board as well. I'm going to check on that. If not, what I've done in the past is I'll take this and I'll just draw right here. I'll just draw right here. Then I've got, of course I can't 
cut there because it'll fall through. But just like we do on our skin, then we'll measure that, which is gonna be about a half inch. Probably half inch, it might be three eighths. And then we'll just come around that original hole marking a half inch. Then we'll cut that out, theoretically. It should drop right in if they don't give me a hole board. I'm hoping I get a hole board. But if not, we do that just like we do the skin on our Scotty. And it works. It works. And then we can put uh, Formica. Customer chose a uh, kind of a white marble Formica. Uh, well, it, Wilson Art. I know they're brand names. Neither one of them pay me. So, but yeah, that's what's going to go down here. And that's going to uh, go on the table as well. So it'll match nicely. All right, I'm going to get to work. Hey, this was rocket surgery right here. As our friend Chris Abney would say, there's not 330 seconds worth of tolerance in there. There was no room for mistake whatsoever. They look great together. Stainless always looks clean. It always looks nice. And once we get the faucet installed and we get the burners installed, of course, we're going to have that... Uh, Wilson art on there. Then we'll get it installed over here on top. I'm sure there's gonna be some adjustments there. But we'll get it, we'll get it. It's gonna look great. It's gonna look nice. The customer ain't made a good choice. The customer just didn't make my choice, but it's not my trailer, is it? So the customer gets what the customer wants and it's gonna be beautiful. <laughs>